So we're going to make a video today uh, for you DIY guys that are installing your own boat, uh, whether you've had us cut the material for you in a kit or you have made your own templates and ordered DIY material. A couple important tricks of the trade for you guys uh, to consider when installing this. Forget everything you've heard. Uh, if it is, in fact, misinformation on the internet uh, and YouTube about installing this material, Half the time uh, when you hear about a complaint about this material either coming up or not lasting, it's usually an installer error. So the first thing you're going to need when you start installing your kit, if you've had us cut your material, you're going to want to refer to your file, kind of like instructions to a puzzle. Um, the file should contain measurements, gap measurements, and uh, give you a general idea of exactly uh, you know where your gaps are and how your lines meet up and where the pieces go in general next thing you're going to need is a J roller if you're not using a J roller you're doing it wrong end of story you cannot install this material on a boat without a J roller there is no other option uh, any other options that we have seen used in the past result in air bubbles um, and, and that's definitely something you don't want. Uh, next thing you're going to need is alcohol. There is no other substitution. Once again, it's alcohol. That's all you can use. Again, alcohol. You can mix your alcohol with Windex, uh, about 50/50, which will help. Um, you know, will keep it from from evaporating too quickly. Um, but alcohol is the best thing to use pure out rubbing alcohol or again mix it. Do not use dish soap, um, general purpose cleaner. Please don't use bleach on your boat. Bleach is the worst chemical you can put on gel coat. Um, it will oxidize your boat and if you've used a lot of bleach on your boat, chances are your decking's not going to stick properly and it is going to come up later. Um, a clean rag and a razor knife. So you'll need to clean your boat completely in order to install our material on your boat or any other material for that matter. So after you've cleaned the boat um, thoroughly with alcohol or alcohol and Windex, you want to lay your entire kit out exactly how it's shown on the file that you should have been sent if we cut your order for you. Be sure not to wear shoes on the boat. Socks are the best way to go. Bare feet will leave oil residue. It may cause issues down the line with bubbles in the material. You want to install the material on your boat in its cleanest form. Lay the entire kit out. I'm the same way. When I get something like this, I get excited. I want to get it on my boat, but it's not worth screwing up a piece and uh, then you got to start all over or go out on your boat with one piece missing until we cut you another piece. I like to use my feet, kind of just walk around and can actually use my toes to move the material around, make sure it fits on the non-skid pattern exactly. And once you've got it completely laid out, you can start on a section. And we recommend you do hatches first or any center pieces the floor is always last front and rear deck is usually the best to start with in this case start with the C Pro and then work your way around it alright so once you're certain that you have all the pieces laid out correctly you can be begin the uh, installation process so you're going to need your J roller and your razor knife for this process. The great thing about our material, and we've said it before, if you can see that, is the 3M backing. Many of our competitors are using a, you know, self-applying, do-it-yourself paper backing adhesive. Not only does it uh, leak gases, and it's uh, less effective once it uh, has set on the shelf, but it's very hard to work with when installing. We recommend that you do this process with every single piece. Sharp razor knife 
and just score the middle of the backing and take about a six inch strip out, maybe bigger for a bigger piece. Peel that piece out and discard it. Now that you have the center peeled out, you're going to want to lay the piece down exactly as it should fit. Check every corner. And once you have it completely lined up and you're sure that your gapping is the same on both sides, front and back, your hinges are centered, work yourself to the center using your J-roller. Roll the center. Now simply peel up the sides. go from there. Always roll from the center out. You don't have to apply 100 pounds of torque on this guys. Just evenly roll it and then do your edges. Go to the other side. And again, from the center out lightly, using your hand or stepping on this or trying to use a squeegee is ineffective. You have to use a J-roller. We recommend that you do this on every piece in the same exact order regardless of how big or small the order is, or the pieces I should say. Remember, once you peel the backing off of it, it's yours, so make sure you're putting it down right. Alright, so that you guys can see it again. Two most important tools. Doesn't matter what the size of the piece is, this is the best technique to ensure that it fits evenly. It's really important too that you let the material lay down on its own. Don't try to stretch it or manipulate it. You may have heard online that Installing this in the direct sunlight is the best way. That could not be further from the truth. You want a nice, cool, shaded area with not a whole lot of wind because it's going to blow your pieces around if it's real windy. So again, I peeled out the center. I'm just going to lightly lay it down. Make sure that your everything is centered the way it should be. Make sure your spacing along each edge is the same. I like to use my finger as a gauge. Once you know it looks good, even if it doesn't look right, you can pull it up a little bit. But remember, once you roll it, it's on there for good. And pulling it off at that point can be done, but it usually stretches the material. And if you're working with a kit that has teeth lines or any other design that's supposed to meet up and run long ways or sideways with the boat, if you peel these pieces up and then try to reapply them, they're going to be stretched out and the lines are not going to match up. Lay it down. Kind of eyeball it. Let it lay down. Don't try to bend it, especially when you have like a tape measure like in this piece. If you try to bend it, tape measure is going to be crooked. Yeah. Let it lay down on its own from the center outwards, roll lightly. piece and I can't say it enough it doesn't matter how big the piece is even if you think that you can lay it all down in one shot use this technique and you won't be calling us back asking us to ship you another piece because you're not going to like the price make 
make sure all my snap holes line up. I'm certain it's where it's supposed to be. Roll the center. So uh, this boat came out just about as perfect as a boat could. Even being that I templated and machined this boat myself, I still rely on the layout. You want to rely on the layout instead of relying on your boat because guaranteed your boat is not symmetric. Uh, anytime human hands have a play in making something, there's going to be uh, problems with symmetry uh, and evenness, if you will, on each side of the boat. So don't panic. I mean, it's not going to match every non-skid pattern exactly. There will be some areas that you may see non-skids stick out. But if you follow the plan that's given to you, everything should come out perfect, especially pay attention to the gapping in between the sheets. Those measurements will be on the layout. Pay attention to those. Let the material lay down. Don't try to bend it or you'll have swerves in your lines. Use the technique showed in this video earlier. Always use a razor knife and score the back about a six to eight inch piece out of the center of the piece that you're about to lay down. Sometimes it's even good to lay that piece down before you even score it. Make sure that you know exactly how you want it to lay and pay attention to the gap settings. Even the gaps in between the hatches will be present on your layout. As you can see this boat, the lines came out absolutely perfect. Beautiful boat, 20 foot C Pro. Nice logo to uh, top it off. Good luck guys. Um, you can always call us if you have any questions at 813-863-4087. You can contact our head of sales here in Tampa at 813-401-5025. Lots of deals going on right now. Christmas specials, New Year's specials. And an important thing to remember once you do your decking, once it's been installed in a nice, cool, dry place, this boat needs 48 hours before you get it wet. And during that 48 hours, you need to put it in the sun in intervals for about two hours each and then let it cool off on its own. Do that about twice a day for the next two days and the decking should never peel up. Maintenance and care. Can't stress enough that you don't have to go buy the most expensive product on the market. We recommend Simple Green. Or even better, Shout Triple Action Laundry Detergent and Spray Bottle works wonders on this stuff. Fish on it all day. Cover it with blood. Rinse it off with fresh water. And when it gets really bad, just use Shout or Simple Green and a light bristle brush. And we also recommend that twice a year you use Starbright or any other marine grade fabric guard. And it should last the lifetime of your boat. Tight lines, guys.